Right, so, a couple of reviews to do. It's all good. It's the XT 435 GT. So it's, it's basically got like a glass tip, so the tip on it's really, it's really sensitive, quite a, quite a G curve you've got. Um, tapered leader, power cast, and 30 pound brake for the power cast. I will show you that later on. So I'll load it up with about 8,000. Just fishing the two up flat, but we're on the Humber. See over there, you've got the Humber Bridge. Ferry terminals, the other side of us. So I'm not actually expecting much, to be honest. It's more just to do, you know, reviews on this. Uh, I've had a couple of dry casts with the, uh, with the braid. Uh, it's only 30 pounds, so I'm using the tapered leader again for power cast. Uh, I've used a improved all bright. First couple of casts, it seems bang on, to be fair. It's 16 strands, so it's quite quite fine stuff. What we'll do, we'll get these baits sent out now. Let me on. And then we'll see what's what. I've got Martin with me, he's behind the camera. Yeah, you, you can see how, 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 uh, how fine the line is. It's, it's on par with the likes of Diver J Braid and whatnot. Some of you will notice that I'm fishing with the reel up. The reason for that is I was up in Scotland last year and I collapsed. <laughs> Basically, now I hit the, hit the floor like a sack of shit. Uh, I've damaged nerve in my shoulder. Because I cast keg handed when I've got the reel low down, it's, it's putting a lot of pressure on me. Me, uh, my left arm, and it's affecting my casting, so I thought I'll put the reel up, cast over my right shoulder and see what's happening. But I'll let that settle for a minute. The tide's on the flood. Um, I reckon we'll get, we should get a couple of five there. I reckon we're going to be about five hours before we, uh, we have to pack up. Don't know, we've never fished this month before, I don't know what it fishes like on the end or on the flood, I do know they do get quite a few flatties off it, not much else, so it can definitely be a case of just try it and find out. Right, see you in a bit. Set up. So I've got the full front out. Um, it's like a bit of a rattle on it just there. To be fair. I must say that braid I'm dead impressed with. Really um, the Zul prod, I've already had a few fish on the Zul prod. Uh, nothing major, nothing massive. Fish the time with Martin and Liam. Uh, it'd be six weeks ago. Yeah, six weeks ago. Uh, had an absolute white in the vest. Um, and it was showing the bites up. Absolutely amazing, it's, it's, it's just it's a phenomenal piece of kit. It's, you know, the 380 pound to buy for a century of that caliber, you're going to be looking at between six and seven hundred. It's a no brainer, really. They're absolutely outstanding rods. Um, but yeah, the braid and the tapered leader, it's um, the chaps at uh, Powercast sent it me, asked if I'd do a review on it. Um, and like I say, that's it's about my fifth cast with it, so it's, it's, it's not even really bedded on properly yet, so I don't give it, you know, too much, too much on it. I think the only thing that really lets it down, up to yet anyway, the only thing that really lets it down is the fact that it's only £30. So, as a result, I'm having to fish with a tapered leader, which I'm not a massive fan of doing, but they were good enough to send a tapered leader out as well. And to be fair, like I say, I've used the uh, improved all bar or not, and it's... It's a really small knot, and it's, I've just sent that lead out. We we bait on a good, a good 80 yards, just just from over and thump. So 
I've had to move out of the way because the wind is, is pretty bad and it's coming from straight down there so that last clip Mark said that it was a bit sort of hit and miss with the with the audio so if it's bad I apologise now. But yeah Martin started sea fishing. He's he's been doing a bit. Um we went to Wales a fortnight ago. Three weeks ago. Four weeks is it four weeks? Four weeks ago. Um Set a stall out for a conger. I lost a monster of a conger two weeks before that. And it was a PB, it was 20 plus, it was massive. That was off Amulet Breakwater, so I thought we'll get back there, we'll see if we can get Martin in his first conger. And lo and behold, he had two on my Sonic Black. Which, incidentally, is still going strong. Um, but yeah, we thought, because the Humber's was pretty much the closest sea, sea fishing to us so I keep checking that rod tip because it's, it's, it's tip dipped a couple of times um, I thought we'll, we'll come across see what's what thought, I'm not sure we'd pick the best of marks though it's like it's just full of boy races <laughs> I reckon there's there's got to be 15 cars in here 15 boy races and it's like ripping them out Acting goons, it's a Friday night though, isn't it? So, but yeah, Martin, you get a bite there. I think, no, I don't, I think there's a bit of weed on mine actually. I think, well, it is what it is. Beats being sat at home. So, that's the braid. It's, uh, it's all part of Powercast, it's all part of the same company. And as you can see, it's, it is really, really low diameter. It's lovely stuff. Um, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what it retails at. It's, I think it's very slightly cheaper than the likes of Die with J Braid and uh, um, Spider Wire, that sort of thing. The tapered leader that I'm using is exactly the same stuff. I think it's 18 to 70 pound thereabouts. It is. It's it's quite low diameter, the 70 pound end, which is a little bit concerned with, to be honest. But yeah, like I say, I've chucked that. I've chucked that six ounce out, and it's 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 fine. It's it's doing its job. Um, but what I will do is I'll put a link. To their Facebook page in the video, you can go and have a look. Uh, any links, you know, towards the uh, any links directly towards the actual company themselves will be on the Facebook page. It's easier if I just do it that way. I can, I can tag a Facebook a lot easier. Sound. Caught a plastic, caught a plastic bag, and we've got a, a bit of a rave going on. <laughs> we have. That's the only problem. We've had a lot of rain, so there's uh, there's a lot of crap floating down. I'll send them back out. Put another bait. I'll send it back out and uh, see what's what. I uh, ended up fourth in the species on last year on the Wigs and Bits one. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I'll mention it again. I won. Um, was it best fish? Yeah. Best fish with a red band fish, which I believe was the only one caught from the British shore last year. Somebody will probably tell me I'm wrong, but I've not heard, I've not heard or seen another one. And 
chap won it Brent Haywood. Massive well done to him. He had 72 species, I think, which is nearly double my best. Um, I don't think he'd seen one from the shore either. Um, but doing it this year, I'm on nine, I think. Yeah. Nine up to yet, and I've been four, five times. So it's not bad. But keep that pace up. I should. I should be. You know, top three. I think um, one of the hardest ones that I, I struggled with a bit last year was was the conga, and I had one on me second to third outing. So I'm glad that one's out of the way and done with. We've got a few trips lined up. Martin's he's uh, he's converting his his big van into a, a camper. Obviously, I've got my van. You know, we, we, we're going away with the wives and the kids. Um, we've got we've got a shark fishing trip with a chap July, uh, May isn't it? Yep. May and then July we're down Devon um, I'm hoping to get out with the Devon Lurfer who he does a lot of LRF with, with actual lures though um, he's going to try and put me on a few species so that would be an interesting one if we can get down there or if we can get out while I'm down there also planning on fishing Berry Head um, some of you will know it some of you won't it's it's a very deep mark that is is it consistently throws some big eels out more off the boat but I do think it's going to be fun to fish we'll see what that goes there's a lot lot planned this year I'm gonna I'm gonna start uploading videos with a bit more regularity get back on it I think um, I think it's been too long business my business is settled and you know it's going smoothly at the moment so uh, all being well some, get some videos put out. Well, Martin's getting a bite. Uh, I don't know, mate. It was a bite, but I don't know if that's biting. I'd leave it, let it hang itself. That's, nice. that's weed. That's not. That's a bite, but there's weed. There's weed on your line. Just calm down. So I'd keep winding because there's a big sandbar out there. Yeah, your lead's, your lead's dug in. Get a good snatch. There you go. Yeah, you've got that half a tree that floated past. Tighten your drag up. I was going to say, let some line off it and just let it see if it let it move itself out. It was a bite, but there's definitely a lump of weed on it. Tighten your drag back up. Yeah, that's the only problem because we're fishing in a car park is uh, it's just fucking full of boy races man. pain in the arse yeah Martin dad definitely had a bite there but there was there was weed you can tell when it's weed it, it sort of it rolls down the line and it da -da 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 -da. but there was there was definitely a bite there so all being well but we're going to give it another quarter of an hour here and if, if no it's happening we, we might bugger off within the sea fish the beach but we'll see Marty's got a fish 
got a little flounder. Has it snapped your top? Yes. Oh no, it's pulled it, pulled it down. Pulled it, yeah, it's pulled it down. It's pulled it down. Is it a flounder or is it a dab? A yeah, little flounder. Yeah, well done. Happy days. First fish of the night. Told you it was the lead that needed breaking though. I don't say I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> Nicely hooked. So, Anne, give us a smile without your headlight because it's blinding me. <laughs> hey, busy! Right, we're moving. Excuse me. Look at that hand. Uh, yeah, we're moving. There's too many boy races, they're irritating me. And Martin's only at the one flounder. It's been very quiet otherwise, so we're going to go and try Withensea Beach. We'll see when we get there. 